Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews, and today we are discussing the Rackable Curl Bar from Rep Fitness. Now, I have in front of me Rep Fitness's Rackable Curl Bar and the most expensive over-the-top option that's available, that is stainless steel. That means not only is the shaft completely stainless steel, but so is the sleeves. Something that up until a couple years ago wasn't really something anybody did in an Olympic bar, let alone in a curl bar. This is my favorite curl bar that's on the market, not only because it's stainless steel, both the shaft and sleeves, but also because the knurl's good. Everything about it is just nice. So let me go over some of the specs. The diameter on the shaft is 30 millimeters. That is one millimeter over most power bars and about two millimeters over most general purpose or weightlifting bars. It's a good size, it feels good in hand. The weight is 35 pounds in total. It comes in both stainless steel and hard chrome in both a short and rackable version. I suggest the rackable version. The knurling has four different sections. I wish they knurled all throughout on the easy part, but this works. The total length is six foot two, and there's a loadable length on the sleeves of 10 inches, allowing you to put on pretty much as much weight as you'd want to do for tricep extensions and rackable curls. Now, what separates the rackable curl bar from Rep Fitness against some of the others that are out there from Rogue and others is really, it was one of the first rackable curl bars that was available for most home gym owners. Sure, there's some like that have been out for a little bit from companies that are a lot more expensive, but this was one that was priced really well. After they came out with theirs, Rogue decided to launch theirs. I'm surprised Rogue didn't launch it earlier, but honestly, this, in my opinion, is a better overall curl bar than Rogue's. Rogue's is made in the USA, and it's using an awesome neural pattern. Everything about it's nice, but it's using an E-coat instead of stainless. So you can get this one in either a stainless steel option for 200 and about 59 bucks right now as of this video. But in comparison, Rogue's is like 10 bucks cheaper maybe, nine bucks cheaper, and the shipping's pretty similar. So for most people that are wanting like a premier curl bar if you're gonna spend that much, I would say Rep Fitness is actually superior. However, if you're gonna go with something you want more budget friendly, their chrome option is great, but I prefer the stainless steel. What's nice about stainless steel is it's not gonna rust as quickly, although that doesn't mean it's not gonna rust at all. There's rust on this right now. So although there's a lot to like about the Rep stainless steel versions, I have noticed a discrepancy between their stainless steel and some of the others. And what I mean by that is I've noticed some rust has started to form specifically on this bar and the Power Bar EX even though they're the, in the exact same environment and have a similar amount of use as some of my other stainless steel bars like my Rogue Stainless Steel Ohio Power Bar. I don't know what the total issue there is. I do know there's different grades of stainless steel, but I do wanna say that although I really like the stainless steel version for its corrosion resistance, the stainless steel easy curl bar that I've got hasn't been too impressive for how much rust it's resisted, as you can see right here. So keep that in mind, I do like it, but I don't know if it's any more rust resistance in my experience versus Rogue's E-Coat that they use on theirs. However, the knurling on this feels absolutely great, and the benefit to using a rackable curl bar is you can do other things and go heavier that maybe you can't ordinarily do with a normal curl bar. So for instance, if you wanna do French press over your head, you can get it in place on the rack and then take it out so you don't have to clean it up every time. Or for curls, you can put it in the rack, although you're not allowed to curl in the rack, except if it's your own rack. But if you want to curl in the rack, this makes it easy. You just put it up on the J-hooks. I think a rackable curl bar is vastly superior to a shorter curl bar for most home gym owners because most home gym owners aren't using a preacher curl bench or something like that. They're just gonna use their normal squat rack. So, the rackable curl bar, this one, from Rep Fitness does feature both a bearing and a bushing in each sleeve, which gives it really a tremendous spin. Honestly, more spin than anybody would ever need in a curl bar. However, it feels good when you're curling because it keeps the weight, you know, spinning and, and not fixed, so you're not having to like overcome the gravity of it. So, in my opinion, this is one of, if not the best curl bar that's available. This is Coop from Garage and Reviews. I think most of you, if you want to get one of these, go with the chrome option. However, if you want the creme de la creme version, go with stainless steel. We'll see you next time. Peace.